say the truth is that I am pretty much broke materially, financially. I really only have what's in my suitcase, my backpack, my laptop, my phone, my clothes, my toiletries, and from this perspective, people will think, well, you're a failure. And even my mind says I'm a failure. And that who are you to teach anything if you're such a failure? Surely the wrong person to teach anything. And it's from the very fact that I am materially broke that I can teach what I'm here to teach. Because we have come and I have come to rely on materialism, on wealth, on what we own and what we have achieved uh, in the traditional way of success that defines us as worthy or not, or as successful or not. And life is showing me otherwise. And life is wanting me to share my story from this perspective, not as someone who is materially successful and who has all the trappings because that's what everybody aspires to, but to show that when you are materially broke, that that's okay, that where you feel that is such a threat to your safety and your security, you actually learn in this position to trust that there is support from life itself, from the universe itself, from God, without wanting to use that term to scare people, but from this divine intelligence, we can only come to really trust in it when it's all we've got left to trust in, when it's all we've got left to rely on. And that's where I'm living my life at the moment. And even though there's a big part of me who doesn't want to record <laughs> and show myself, until I'm perfect and until I have my life in a lovely, perfect display of traditional success. Life is telling me, God is telling me, get a move on, share your story, show your journey to true freedom. And it is a journey to freedom. It doesn't mean that you will never have material success again. It does not mean that you won't have access to a lovely material life and to money and that sort of abundance again. It just means that you don't have to be attached to it, that that is, becomes the only focus in your life and the only measure of success and the only thing that you cling to because that is the only thing that gives you a, a feeling of security. Because actually, where we think that money gives us, provides us with a sense of security, it gives us a sense of insecurity because we need it, because we have to have it. And what will happen to us if we don't have it? And everything becomes about money because that's our safety and security. But when we're forced into a position where we don't have that safety and security anymore through money and materialism, which I'll share about my journey another time, when, when we don't have that to rely on anymore, we have to go into the wilderness with very little. And that's when life... God, as you know, I will sort of interplay the two words because to me they're the same. You know, the energy of life, the intelligence of life, to me is God from which everything comes. When we when we relinquish control, when we go into the wilderness of not having the material trappings, when we don't know where our next money's coming from, when we don't know, like we've only got a few pounds in the bank, a few dollars in the bank. Excuse me, a tractor's coming, and we got bills to pay and we don't know where we're going to be living the next week. Excuse me. 